All right, so uh, Fort Patriot sent me not one, but two sun kettles and obviously different sizes. So the first thing I did is cleaned them out per the instructions with a little soap and warm water. And then I'm gonna put some tap water in these. It's just room temperature tap water right out of the faucet. The uh, larger one actually has a temperature gauge on top. That'll make that convenient. I'm not sure how much water they actually hold. So we're gonna fill the little one first. I'm gonna just measure how much water. So we're gonna, I'll put two cups in here. And then you wanna leave um, a couple inches on the top because it can build up steam. So almost two cups in the small one. Just shy of two cups. Then the larger one, start with two cups again. There's two. And there's two more. Let's see how much we can get in there. So almost four cups, so double the capacity. Basically what you want to do is open these up. And you want the shadow behind them so that uh, the sun gets the most exposure. There we go. So now they're both out here in the sun. Let me uh, start the timer here. We're gonna leave these out here for a minimum of 90 minutes. And then we, we should have some hot water. So we'll come back and check them and then I'll check the temperature on the bigger one. And then I brought a uh, thermometer to test the smaller one. They should um, get to a decent temperature. You look at the temperature scale here. It shows, this one shows an hour at about 190. Where this one, the smaller one shows 90 minutes to reach the same temperature. So pretty cool. So if you have any need while you're out and about, you know, whether you're in the desert or, you know, out somewhere remote and you want some hot water, um, these will should definitely do the trick without having to pull out um, either a Coleman or like a jet boil stove. Anyway, we'll check back on them. All right, so it took an hour and 15 minutes to get to 150 degrees. So if I was going to continue to let this uh, go for 20 minutes now, it would definitely kill any uh, bacteria if I was using this to uh, sterilize water. But for this purpose, I'm going to probably stop this one now, and then I'll run the other one for the 90 minutes. All right, we are going to close this one up. So you can keep the water in here and just let it stay. Um, you can have hot water later on because this acts as a thermos. And these are under pressure, so you got to be careful. I'm going to, um, I have some, uh, for Patriot uh, Freedom Joe survival coffee that I'm gonna make. I right. give this a try. I've never tried it before. You can definitely see the uh, steam on the cup.
Yeah, so after a nice day of uh, detecting or hanging out and you want a cup of coffee, this is one way to do it. I didn't bring out any creamer or sugar, anything like that. Normally I probably would prefer half and half and splendid in mine. There you go. Mmm. So the Fort Patriot coffee is actually pretty good. It's got a resealable uh, package. Squeeze the air out of it. Seal it back down for the next one. And there you have it, a nice cup of coffee. All right, so we are now at a minute, or excuse me, an hour and 20 minutes. This says 90 degree, 90 minutes to get to its uh, desired temperature. I'm also gonna stop this one. And then we'll just do a water temperature check on this. So I'm going to use this uh, thermometer here and see how hot this water got. All right, it's climbing pretty fast. So we can get a shot of this. Look at that, 150 degrees. That's pretty cool. So they're about the same temperature. I think the little one got a little hotter faster, but it also has a less volume. But uh, these are definitely some cool products if you do a lot of camping or if you're out in uh, the desert or some other remote location. Very, very happy with the uh, results. And again, there's two different sizes here. You've got this normal sun kettle, the smaller one which is good for coffee or tea. Then you've got the uh, XL. Either one of them can be used to purify water or to, um, you know, if you want to pour some into a cup of soup or something like that. Definitely a pretty cool item. And you can also um, let it sit in there for a while. It should hold its temperature. I'm going to leave this one closed since it's got the uh, temperature gauge on it. And then I'll close this one up and we'll test the water temperature in a little while and see how it did. See how well it held its temperature. So I've moved both of them into the shade and we're going to give it a couple hours and then I'll see how well the temperature holds up. Okay, so these have been uh, in the shade for about two hours and this one here is just below 140 and we are going to open this one up and see the temperature. All right, so we got the lid off and let's put this in here. As you can see, it's back down and we're going to see this one climb. And it's uh, almost 140, so they do hold temperature really well. Good to know. So there you have it. The sun kettles uh, do a pretty good job.